Hi robotics enthusiasts, I'm Anton and in this video I'm sharing my latest creation. It's the Mindstorms conversion of the Mars rover Perseverance. Um, I'll show you what uh, the rover can do and I also show you how I did the conversion and give you a little insight into the math and programming behind the wheel positions because um, the rover has got quite complex uh, movement with six wheels it can rotate around its axis and make wide curves so um, i had to do a little more <laughs> math than i anticipated but i worked it all out and i'm sharing it in this video enjoy before we go on i'd like to thank robotmakers.com it's a recognized online community of robotics experts and um, their uh, community organized this robot remix and inspired me to create this video and share these ideas with you. I started with the original set, so I built it and I really marveled at all the beautiful details in there. Lego has an AR app, so um, you can then scan the model and um, discover more about it. I liked it, but I really preferred the original um, NASA website where there is uh, way more in-depth information about the rover. I'm going to link to the NASA website in the description. Um, once I built this model, I actually gutted it and um, replaced the insides with a Mindstorms robot inventor kit. Um, it's a nice kit because it's got of course um, the hub and it's got four motors so um, this enables me to uh, power both sides of the rover and also um, turn all the steering wheels. Finally I added a um, spike prime kit for remote controlling so this um, makes for a nice remote control and um, it was just because I had this laying around, but basically you can use any Technic hub or a Boost hub for remote control. It works just as well with uh, Pybrick. So uh, the programming, of course, is uh, done with Pybricks. You can see it here. If I boot the hub, it shows the typical Pybricks square there. And once I run the program, is the Pybix run animation. Let's go, let's first see what the robot can do and then talk about the conversion and a little bit about the programming. Now, when the robot drives, it's interesting to see that it can rotate in place around its axis, it can rotate around its left outer wheel and it can make really wide turns. So the turn radius is dependent on the different motor speeds. So if, um, one motor, both motors run in opposite direction, it runs around its axis. If both motors run in the same direction, but not at equal speed, it makes a rather larger turn, as you can see here. The rover is not very good at obstacles or uh, rough terrain. That's because in this LEGO model, only the middle wheels are powered. The real Mars rover Perseverance has got propulsion on all six wheels and drives a lot slower, so it's much better at handling rough terrain. For the conversion, I did a basic setup in virtual reality in LEGO Studio. I um, mapped out the inner dimensions of the body here and I ensured that the motors would fit in and that really saved a lot of time. So after a few iterations, I found a motor positions and a mechanism that I was really satisfied with. I was um, able to um, close the bottom side uh, quite nicely, um, especially the wide side of the uh, um, inventor hub. <laughs> it fits in uh, really nice here. And I was able to um, maintain functionality here in the arm. So. This button here now um, moves the arm inside and outside. You can, you can still turn the wheel and make the uh, robotic arm here uh, move. Um, this uh, wheel still works. Uh, originally in the model, um, there are two buttons here on the back to uh, move the robot arm here. Um, but you know, since the hub here took a lot of solid place, I wasn't able to uh, guide these axles through the body anymore. Um, a funny thing here is that 
um, the original axis for moving the arm I thought they were blocking this wheel here but turns out that this wheel isn't a wheel at all it's really a power generator a nuclear power generator and it's supposed to be fixed and not rotating so um, these are the fun small details that you discover while building and converting this model programming the robot was not that easy not because of the software but really because of the math involved these are my back of the napkin calculations that i used to calculate um, the angles of the wheels and the radius of turning so ultimately i settled on a tank drive where the speed difference between the left side and the right side determines um, the curve with which the uh, rover turns and this curve determines where the um, turning wheel axis should be angled so you could see um, every curve that the robot uses has a center of a circle and um, all all the time when the robot is driving a curve or an, or an arc the axis of the wheels should point toward the uh, center of the arc and that was um, Took a bit of math to figure out and calculate so let me quickly walk you through the math involved here um, we're interested in the angle of the front and back wheels i'm just going to explain how to calculate the front wheel because the back wheel is symmetrical it's basically the same just reversed and here you see a red line where um, through the base uh, the middle wheels and um, the idea is that the robot will rotate around a point just left of the middle of the car and the axles of the outer wheels of course have to point to the center of rotation um, the i'm just going to focus on the right hand wheels here because um, the left hand wheels is almost the same story um, with just uh, a little offset from uh, the the center of the car um, so to calculate the right side wheels um, we are interested in this angle alpha and this angle alpha is uh, the same angle as um, the angle between the center of rotation and the yellow line down there because um, uh, the because of the, the the red line and the gray line are parallel and this gives us two identical triangles here and so this uh, this is the other angle alpha it's the same and the so we can calculate the angle of alpha with a tangens and um, to calculate this tangens we need two distances um, one is the distance uh, of the horizontal line which is half the axle width or half the car width we'll call it h and um, the other distance is r um, that's the distance from the center of the car to the center of rotation um, and then we need the vertical axis the vertical size which is um, uh, relative to the proportion of the car and since the car is just a little longer than it is wide we'll call it h times 1.1 so the car is 10 percent longer than it is wide and these uh, with these distances we can calculate the uh, angle of alpha um, these distances give us the following relations so tangents alpha equals uh, the opposing side which is h times 1.1 divided by the uh, underlying side r uh, plus h um, now we don't want the tangents of alpha but we want the real angle of alpha so we need to do the inverse tangents and many programming languages have uh, including python have a function called a102 which is um, uh, an inverse tangents where you can pass two parameters 
first the um, the divisor and then the value on top here so this uh, would give us the angle of alpha there our next challenge is to calculate r the angle of turning here and to calculate r we are going to use the different motor speeds of the wheels so imagine the rover here is taking a left turn and the black um, blobs there are the center wheels and the blue lines here represent their speeds um, and what we know is that the uh, speeds the motor speeds are proportional to their radius so the radius of the circle of the left wheel is going to proportion is to going to be smaller than the radius of the right wheel and it's going to be proportionally smaller proportional to its speed now we're interested in the uh, return radius of the whole rover not the radius of the left wheel or the, the right wheel um, but we know there is a relationship there um, because actually the turning radius of the left wheel uh, is equal to r minus half the width of the rover and um, the turning radius of the right wheel is equal to r plus half the width of the rover um, knowing these proportions and these relations we can uh, write down this uh, formula that shows the proportions so the left speed um, is, uh, uh, over the right speed equals the left radius over the right radius and then it uh, takes a little math to um, derive from this formula um, the formula for r so let's fast forward this a bit i'll just uh, quickly juggle some terms here and rewrite the formula so that um, we get r on the left side that's the unknown and all of the known factors on the right side and then ultimately this gives us this formula for r minus vr times h minus vl times h over vl minus vr now what's interesting is that on the previous calculation we ended up with a formula that had r over h in it um, r over h plus one and uh, this is a, a factor that we can also uh, create here by dividing both sides by h then we get the um, number or the formula for r over h which we can then input into our angle calculation formula um, and this simplifies it a bit more after finding these formulas what i did is um, put all of this into an excel sheet and uh, play around with some angles um, and check the validity of all calculated angles in different situations and this all worked out so then i was able to put this into a python program and um, have the robots remote controls by just changing the speeds and then the angles of the wheels would follow these speeds this project was about more than building and coding I gained a profound appreciation for the engineering marvel of the real Mars rover. Um, it was really nice to dive into all the details, discover what all the gimmicks do on the rover and learn a lot about um, Mars uh, surveying. And also uh, actually the math puzzle for the wheels was quite a lot of fun to do. Um, I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you are inspired to convert your Mars rover too. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.